the specific heat capacity of iron by method of mixture. Objective To determine the specific heat capacity of iron by the method of mixture applying the principle of heat exchange. Apparatus required A calorimeter, laboratory thermometer, an iron block, a beam balance, a beaker, a burner, tripod stand and a pair of tongs. Measuring Weights Theory When a hot object is dropped in a cold liquid, heat exchange takes place from the object to the liquid until the temperature of both the solid and liquid attain the same value, equilibrium stage. According to the principle of heat exchange, heat lost by a hot object is equal to the heat gained by the cold object, provided no heat loss takes place to the surrounding. When a heated metal block is immersed in water kept in a calorimeter, the metal block will lose heat and the calorimeter container and water will gain heat. Therefore, the temperature of metal block will drop and the temperature of water in the calorimeter will rise. Let T1 represents the initial temperature of water in the calorimeter. T2 represents the initial temperature of the metal block and let T be the final temperature of the mixture. Let MC, MW and MI represent the masses of the empty calorimeter, water in the calorimeter and of the metal block respectively. Heat lost by the metal block is equal to Mi Ci into T2 minus T1. Heat gained by water is equal to Mw Cw into T minus T1. Heat gained by calorimeter container is equal to Mc Cc into T minus T1. According to the principle of heat exchange, heat lost by the hot metal block is equal to heat gained by the water and the calorimeter. In equation form, MICI into T2 minus T1 is equal to MWCW into T minus T1 plus MCCC into T minus T1. Hence, CR equals T minus T1 into MWCW plus MCCC upon MI into T2 minus T1. Using the above mentioned formula, specific heat capacity of the material of metal block CI can be calculated. Use a beam balance to measure the mass of empty calorimeter along with its stirrer. Record it as M1. Fill the calorimeter with water till the level of water in the calorimeter reaches approximately one third of its height and weigh it. Record the mass of the calorimeter with water as M2. Use a thermometer to note the temperature of water in the calorimeter. Record the initial temperature as T1. Take some water in a beaker and place the given block of iron into it. Take enough water in beaker so that the iron block remains completely submerged into water. Heat the water in the beaker till its temperature reaches up to 80 degree or more.
Note the temperature of heated water in the beaker. Record the initial temperature of the iron block in equilibrium with heated water as T2. Use a pair of tongs to place the heated iron block from beaker to the water in the calorimeter. Place a thermometer in the calorimeter. Cover the lid of the calorimeter and stir its contents thoroughly till temperature reading in the thermometer stop rising. Diagram B. Record the steady temperature of the mixture as T. Weigh the calorimeter again along with its contents water, iron block and stirrer. Record this mass as M3. Use the relevant formula discussed, the theory of the experiments, to calculate the specific heat capacity of iron, Ci. Record your observations as follows. Conclusion The specific heat capacity of the material of the given object, iron, as determined by the method of mixture is dash calories per gram degree Celsius. Precautions Iron block should be completely submerged into water in the beaker. Place iron block gently into water of the calorimeter with minimum water sticking to it. To reduce water sticking to the iron block, either give it soft jerks or wipe it with a piece of cloth before placing it into water. While recording various temperatures, the bulb of the thermometer should be completely immersed into water. Do not keep the lid of the calorimeter open for a long time to avoid heat loss to the surrounding.